Any other? Two. Um, so I work with IOM and we hugely admire um, Peter Sutherland's work in this regard. And he is very much a lone voice and a very brave voice in this domain. And I'd just like to comment that you know, two years ago after Lampedusa, we noticed that no, there was no figure, there was no number of the deaths of migrants on the migratory route. And using something as simple as a Google count of um, media notices of deaths, we started putting together something called the Missing Migrant Index, which is now the kind of figure that is used all the time in the media. But it's pathetic, frankly, that it takes that level of an approach to galvanize and get some attention on it. And I think it's also worth noting that all of the progress in Europe has followed tragedy. Lampedusa, then you take away Mare Nostrum for crazy reasons, followed by 700 dying in one incident, followed by a weekend summit, and what amounts to progress, talking about quotas for the first time, followed by nothing, and then another tragedy, a little bit of progress. So the need for voices is huge. Well, in, I hope this isn't a mutual admiration society, but, <laughs> but IOM and UNHCR are fantastic <coughs> organizations, both of them in their own way. And we're very lucky to have them. And the leadership of each is playing an important role. Um, so at least we have that. Uh, and it's, it's something on which to build an institutional response, which we haven't properly got in place yet. But I think we're heading in the direction of doing more at a UN level. But thank you very much for putting up with me.